Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today we are going to do a just quick review, swatches, and a look that I got from the uh, Lorac Mega Pro 2. So this palette here, first of all, I have to say a big thank you to Mary Ellen. Um, I will have to look and see what her channel is now. It used to be uh, Sensational After 60 and she had changed it. But um, I will put a link to her channel down below. Please go and check her out. She's a wonderful lady. Um, she had a giveaway going on, and her giveaway was uh, two dollars gift cards. And she gave me an option of a couple places to pick from, I believe. And right away, I knew I wanted to pick Alta. I ended up, well, I ended up winning. And that, so, um, and with the $50 gift card from Alta that I had picked, and chosen because I already knew I already knew that's what I'd want because this is the palette out of all the holiday palettes this is the one I wanted the most the Pro 2 the Lorac Mega Pro 2 is still available at Ulta Ulta exclusively I think they handled that so much better so this is just like the uh, the uh, Mega Pro that came out last year um, just it's a blue color and it's rubberized the all famous rubberized um, casing they have. Um, they always uh, come with their um, covers to protect the shadows and it does have the nice big mirror so if you're going to travel with it um, you know you'll have a nice big mirror and then just like their shadows um, you have like all mattes on the top and then all your shimmers on the bottom they are just, they're well known for that. They, so, I'm gonna be honest, even, in, I mean like my video quality, sometimes the lighting and stuff isn't always the greatest anyway, but I'll be honest, I've seen some people that are well known, I mean like they have great lighting and everything. Every single YouTube video I have seen, it does not do it justice. And every picture so far I've seen on vlogs and everything else, it seems to have not done it justice. I think you really need to see this palette up in person to really appreciate the colors in here, the, the uh, whole look and overall of the palette. Um, I have to agree with Lulu on Beauty. If you don't know Lulu on Beauty, she's a wonderful lady too. She does some videos sometimes and she does have a blog. I will put both down below for you guys to go check her out also. She's really great and she's really up to date on a lot of things too in the beauty world. And she was saying about how this does have more warmer shades than what it's really giving off on the video cameras and on the pictures that you're seeing on the blog, blogging and everything. This does not even do it any justice. The warm shades in here are just simply, simply gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch. I'll do four shades at a time. So the first four shades will be porcelain, custard, tawny, and um, burlap. Porcelain, custard, tawny, and burlap. Um, porcelain and custard you're not going to see too well on me, obviously. Uh, the next shade you'll see is melon, tangerine, saddle, and forest. Melon, tangerine, saddle. And forest really pretty now we're going to go on to the next row which is um, bisque lavender purple and sorbet uh, again you're not gonna see too well but there's bisque lavender is pretty pretty light lavender there purple and the other one is sorbet so there they are there Okay, the next ones are uh, Gojo, Cabernet, Ash, and Black. I'm loving Kojo. That's Kojo or Kojo, something like that. I'm liking that. That's really nice. There's Cabernet, there's Ash, and then there's Black. That, <laughs> that gray there. <laughs> My mom's watching football. She 
gets all hyped up into the games. That ash color is pretty unique too for like a matte uh, gray. I can't wait. I want to use that Kojo. I haven't used it yet. Now we're going to work into the uh, shimmer shades. So the shimmer shade uh, on the first row here, the first four, is Sugar, Chiffon, uh, Processo. Is that what it is? Processo and Soft Plum. So we have Sugar, Chiffon, Processo, and Soft Plum. So the next four is Cinnamon, Sandstone, Gunmetal, and Blue Quartz. The one you got is Cinnamon, Sandstone, Gunmetal, and Blue Quartz. There's those. Those are some pretty colors to work for the holidays, Christmas and that. Okay, and then the last row we have Moonlight, Seashell, Peony, and DK Sienna. DK Sienna, something like that. Moon, Moonlight. We have Seashell, Peony, and the DK Sienna. So there's those. Really pretty. Okay, and the last four is Penny, Olivine, Gold Leaf, and Black Ivy. First one is Penny, which really looks like a penny, like the color of a penny. So it fits it perfectly. Um, the next one is Olivine and Gold Leaf, which is right there. And black ivy. Those are all pretty too. So that was the swatches. We're gonna go ahead and go to um, the look that I did for today with using this palette, kind of like doing a fall leafy leaf color, like uh, colors of the leaves. I think gold, orange, and something like that. The golden orangey and brown colors and everything. Um, this palette here also is like, just like their others, it does kick up a lot of products, so be aware of that. But it is a great palette. Yes, I would highly recommend it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go to the look that I did, and then after that, I'll just finish it up. And um, so yeah, let's go to the video right now to where I'm putting it shade on. I'm going to use is this shade right here. It's called Tawny. I'm going to put that just right above the crease with one of my fluffy, uh, fluffy brushes. Alright, the next shade I'm going to use is this melon, the melon shade that's in there, also in the mattes. I'm going to use that um, just a little bit below the tawny that I just did. Right. So next we're going to go ahead and go into the shade Tangerine, which is the more orange shade. And I'm really going to work that right into the crease with my uh, Real Techniques brush like this. I think this is considered, oh, it's a shading brush. I'm going to use that. It really, I really like the shading brush for it to get right in there. Alright, and with this whole look, I'm going to use this shade Burlap. It's kind of um, in between like an orangey brown or something. I don't know. It's just a different, unique shade. And I'm going to work that in too. I'm going to use um, the e.l.f. 
This is the L4 brush, is this one. Might have worn off now, but. Taking this brush again, I'm gonna work back into that tawny shade, the first shade that I worked in. I'm working in with the uh, tangerine. I'm sorry, working in with melon, the second shade that I did. course going back into tangerine I'm going to take um, Cabernet this brown shade and get it worked into the crease a little bit I'm just going to use the same brush that I did for my tangerine And blend that in. Let's go into yellows. Okay, the first yellow shade I'm going to go into is um, gold leaf. So we're going to do gold leaf. So I'm going to put gold leaf on this end and pack it on and go close right to the middle. Okay, the next shade I'm going to go into is Moonlighting. And that's on the very bottom here at the very end. So I'm going to go into that shade. And we're going to work it into from the front end, from the front of the eye. Alright, then I'm going to go back into the Cabernet shade just a little bit. And then take a little bit of tangerine. Okay, just taking a little bit more of the gold leaf. And then just taking this here and brushing it in with gold leaf, taking porcelain, very top here. I'm going to take porcelain and just put it um, along below the eyebrow. Pretty good. I'm going to get the rest of my stuff going on and um, I'll be back to say my final thoughts. Okay, beauties, so this is the look that I got with the Lorac Mega Pro 2. I got my gold shades in there and the orange shades, brown shades so I mixed it all together and um, you know it, it did a fall kind of fall look 
So yes, I am quite pleased with it. So yes, um, no disappointment. Love this palette. Um, so I would highly recommend it. Only holiday palette I've gotten so far and $59, great value for the quality of eyeshadows that you get. So, alright beauties, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would so much appreciate it very much. Help me out a lot. And, um, yes, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and uh, join me each week. And, as always, beauties, please do remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, y'all take care, and I will see you then. Bye. I love you all. Bye-bye.